Hey YouTube, Christo here. Um, I've got my next review ready. <clears throat> I actually wrote the review before I went to Canada, but I didn't have enough time to shoot it. Um, and uh, I forgot about it until uh, a day or two ago. So um, <clears throat> I thought I would, uh, you know, take it out and have a look at it and, you know, see if everything, you know, I still agreed with everything and whatnot. Um, and yeah, so I think I'm ready to do it. Um, you can probably tell already, but uh, I'm doing Memoir Dome by Nina Ricci. Um, this is another one of my favorites. You know, I've only done a few videos, so I'm still being quite partial to the ones that I really like. Um, <clears throat> now, this is from 2002. Um, so, you know, it's nearly a decade. Uh, and it actually has two perfumes. Um, Christine Nagel, who did La Ligue White, that was my first review. Um, she also did B-Men from Thierry Mugler and Narciso Rodriguez for her. Uh, the other perfume is Rosendo Mathieu, who did Paco Rabanne XS, and Carolina Herrera 212 and 212 Sexy, the men's versions. Um, now, Nina Ricci has only made four men's perfumes. Um, and this is actually the most recent one um, and the one before this was from 1989 um, so she hasn't really done a lot recently for men and uh, this is also discontinued so it's got quite a lot going against it um, unfortunately um, <clears throat> now the listing is a woody sheepra um, and uh, it's kind of funny because there's actually no cypress in this, um, and Chypre is French for cypress, so you would expect something listed as that would have cypress in it, but it doesn't. Um, I would say this would probably fit better as a woody spicy myself, um, and if you listen to the notes you'll see why. Um, the top is grapefruit and licorice, the middle is nutmeg and ginger, and the base is pretty standard amber, vetiver, and cedar. <clears throat> to me the predominant notes are um, licorice. Licorice is the strongest, definitely the strongest to me. Um, as well uh, ginger and nutmeg. Now if you've watched my videos before, my reviews, you'll know what I do. I have the dry down here. I sprayed this about half an hour ago so this is you know the dry down. <clears throat> and I'm going to do another shot over here and tell you about the opening. Okay, it is quite citrus. You can really, really smell the grapefruit there. Um, kind of a sour, bitter grapefruit smell. Um, you can tell the licorice is there. The licorice starts to come out after a couple seconds, a couple minutes. Spice a little bit, you can smell a little bit, but on the dry down you can really, really smell the uh, the licorice, and you can definitely pick up the uh, the middle notes, the nutmeg and the ginger. Yeah, you know I can see a bit of cedar, but definitely, like I said, licorice, nutmeg, ginger. I think the uh, the those are the the three um, most predominant notes there. Now um, this one stays fairly linear meaning that it smells pretty much the same when you spray it um, until it wears off. Um, the only thing is the, um, the grapefruit in the opening uh, fades away. You can smell it a little bit, but most of it fades away. Um, and other than that, yeah, it pretty much stays fairly linear. There's, there's not too much happening. Uh, but, you know, that's not bad because I really like this. Um, you know, why do you want a perfume that you really like the smell of changing and altering and stuff, so, you know, it's not that bad. <clears throat> now, uh, prices for this. Um, this is a hard one because this is discontinued. Um, prices range really dramatically. Uh, you might be able to get this in some department stores, um, but you're most likely going to have to look for this um, online or in you might be able to luck out and get one in a shop somewhere. Um, but as far as I could see, the prices range from about 30 up to $80 for a 100ml bottle. Um, 
it's, uh, you know, if you spend a bit of time looking, um, I guarantee you can get a full 100 mil bottle for $50 or less. Um, it just might take you a little time to find it. Um, bottle sizes, I forgot to mention bottle sizes. Um, again, because this is discontinued, it's kind of hard. You can't just go on the Nina Ricci site and look for bottle sizes. Um, I found two, a 100 mil, which is what this is, and a 60 mil. Um, those are the only two sizes I could find. There may be more, but um, those are the only two I could find. Um, like I said, this is discontinued, but it is still out there. You can find it if you go on eBay. Uh, you can find it for sure. If you go on Amazon, you'll be able to find it. Um, now, uh, the projection on this. I get about average or above projection. It's nothing amazing, but it's definitely no slouch. Um, it lasts about as long as you would hope a perfume lasts for the price. Um, I would say the Project, uh, the longevity on this, I would say, would be, yeah, maybe six to eight hours. Um, no less than six, I would say, and I'd say, yeah, eight is about max. Uh, projection is pretty good. You can definitely smell it around your body for the first uh, maybe three hours, maybe four hours. And after that, it kind of slows, it dies down a little bit. Uh, but you can you can smell it on your skin, at, yeah, for at least eight hours, I would say, which you know isn't that bad. Um, season and occasion. Um, season. I'm definitely going to say this is cooler weather. Um, I'm going to say best for winter, but definitely you could do this in the fall um, because of the spice and the licorice. Um, I think it's really good for winter. It's not black but um, it is a darker fragrance. Um, I think the brown bottle is good. I think that kind of uh, sums it up. You know, the, the brown kind of spicy, licorice feeling to it. I think that's a good color for it. It's kind of a brown color. Um, not black or anything, but yeah, it is dark. It is kind of heavy, but it's not cloying or anything. Occasion, this is a hard one because, um, because this is such a strange, smelling perfume. It's very unique. I've never ever smelled anything like this before, without a doubt. Um, I've tried a lot of licorice based scents. Um, you know, I love Lolita Olympica Au Masculin. I love Bee Man um, that uh, Christine Nagel also made. I really like both of those, but this is really different. This is very different. This is very mature. This is very manly, very masculine. Um, but it's very mysterious and very sexy, I think. I, I, I really think um, girls would dig this. If you were wearing this on a date or something, like more of a formal date, not a first date, not a movie date, but if you went out for like a nice dinner and you wore this, I definitely think you would get her attention um, wearing something like this because it is so strange. Um, and because it is discontinued, not many people are going to be wearing it. Um, office. Maybe. Um, might be a little weird for the office. Usually the office you want to wear something a little safer. Um, but I think, yeah, special occasions or a formal date. Age. Um, this is another weird one. Uh, because it is such a, a different perfume, I think it's one of those things that if you are into things that are more different, if you're confident enough to wear something this weird, um, I think you can do it. Um, that said, I don't think many guys under 25 are going to be into it. You know, when you're 25, you want to wear something sweet and loud. You know, Ed Hardy, Sean John, things like that. Um, not really my cup of tea personally, but um, I think I would say personally 25 to maybe 35. But I definitely could see guys, you know, 35 or older wearing it, but just not as many. Now, positives for this. What are the positive things? Um, it's unique. It's different. It's, you know, maybe I could even say strange. Um, it's really, really nice. I like it quite a lot. Um, it gives me a weird kind of foodie feeling. Not gourmand, because gourmand to me is usually something sweet. 
um, something that you just want to eat when you, you smell it, you know, you want to you want to bite it, you want to eat it. Whereas this gives me like a strange foody feeling. I think it's kind of like the nutmeg and the licorice. Um, very, very interesting. Um, it's got above average longevity, above average projection, which is positive in my books. It's sexy, it's unique. I can even see this being worn romantically. Uh, positive again, it's not common. Uh, guys don't wear this. It's, you, you know, if you wear this, uh, you know, uh, you know, with your girlfriend at dinner, you're not going to worry about smelling someone else, you know, you're not going to worry about it, the smell wafting over to you of some other guy wearing it. You know, if you wear Aqua de Gio out on a date, you know, there's probably two or three other guys in the same restaurant wearing that with, as well. Uh, negatives. A lot of the same, actually. Um, things. Uh, it might be too strange for people, you know, someone, why do I want to smell like food? Why do I want to smell like something, you know, you want to eat that's not gourmand? Um, yeah, okay. Uh, lots of licorice. If you don't like licorice, especially like, you know, a strong black licorice smell, you're probably not going to like this. Um, and it's discontinued, uh, so that's negative. It's it's, you know, not too easy to find. Nina Ricci sends four men aren't easy to find in the first place. Um, so that could be a negative thing that might be hard for you to find. Recommended, um, I would say for collectors. If you have a collection, if you have like 15, 20 bottles or more, you need to have this. You really do. Um, even if you don't like it, I think you can appreciate it for how different it is. Um, definitely for collectors. Uh, also, yeah, people who like things that are different. If you're not really into Aqua de Gio anymore, if you've outgrown that, or you're a little more sophisticated, check this out. Um, personally, uh, this is really special to me. I really like this. Uh, and as you can see, I don't use it very much because I'm, you know, fearing the day I run out because I don't know if I'll ever be able to replace this. Um, so yeah, uh, personally, I highly recommend this. So there you go, guys. There's uh, my take on Memoir Dome by Nina Ricci. Highly recommended licorice-based scent. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Have you guys worn this? Do you wear it? Um, if you do, you know, let me know what you think. And, uh, you know, I hopefully will be able to do another review or two over the weekend and uh, get them up. So thanks a lot, guys. Later.